I try to pronounce the name of the hotel. This hotel? Yeah, what's the name? It's Nowhere Hof. It's Nowhere Hof. Yes. Okay. We are at Restaurant Sainz. They received two Michelin stars. It is located at the lakeside town, 30 minutes from Lucerne. Today, we choose to have full menu, seven courses with seven wide pairing. Overall, the food here, I can feel they are very similar to local Thai food with Thai herb. That make me very surprised. กินมา3คอร์สสั่ง7คอร์สนะก็คือสั่ง7คอร์สจานแรกเป็นหอยแมงคู่จานที่2เป็นปูและจานที่3เป็นฟัวกาเป็นไทยฟิวชั่นแน่นอนคืออินสปายบายไทยฟูแบบไทยฟูเลยนะไม่ใช่เอเชียนแบบตั้งแต่แบบหอยแมงคู่ก็มีความเป็นข้าหอยแมงคู่แล้วก็ปูก็คือเมี่ยงปูอ่ะเมี่ยงนะฮะไม่รู้เรียกอะไรเมี่ยงปูที่เรากินกับใบชาปูกันนะแล้วเมื่อกี้นี่คือเซอร์ไพรส์ชอบมากฟัวกาเทอรินน้ำพริกนุ่มแล้วก็มากับออยสเตอร์ในน้ำกะทิอะโคโคนัทมิลแบบตื่นเต้นเลยรอดูแล้วว่าอีก2อันเถอะจะเป็นความมีไทยฟิวชั่นยังไงกันเรามาดูกันต่อเราไปเแล้วก็มีความหวานมากแล้วก็มีความหวานมากแล้วก็มีความหวานมากแล้วก็มีความหวานมากแล้วก็มีความหวานมากแล้วก็มีความหวานมากแล้วก็มีความหวานมากแล
อุ้ยอร่อยอ่ะอุ้ยอันนี้ดีเหมือนยำบ้านเราอ่ะเว้นจริงยำหอยนางรมอยากรู้ตรงนี้ว่านี่คืออาหารแบบดีฟายว่าอาหารอะไรเยอรมันเหรอสวิสนเธอร์แลนด์หรืออะไรเงี้ยแบบดีอ่ะมันมีความแบบนอร์ดิสขึ้น Two different wines. Two of my favorite wines, actually. Uh, the first one is this here. It's um, uh, from Moritz Kissing, a uh, young winemaker in Germany. He's still in his um, like tryout and finishing phase. I just make a um, uh, natural by the name of Chardonnay, with the Pinot Blanc. And the other one is um, a Chardonnay of Pearl Morisset. It's the Morisset and Mel Pearl. And both are uh, sommeliers and three-star restaurants worldwide. And then he said, okay, he wanted to do also his own wine. And then we learned um, in Burgundy also the domain the Rouleau and like the big um, companies. This is Chardonnay de Gros in the Lake Ontario between Toronto and Buffalo in the USA. It's super hard to come, but my best friend is actually working in the USA, so <laughs> the lucky one. Our next course, <laughs> not secret. Um, in the base of your plates, around, you can find a shawamushi that you make from the crab. It is actually like a Japanese cream. Then, uh, in the second layer, we have salad from the crab, a little bit of fermented uh, red cabbage, some nashi peels, which is also kind of Asian or Japanese fruit. This is kind of really sour. The sticks, the name is uh, flamen kuche. There is no other name in English. English for it, but these are really crispy stick rolls. <laughs> and I will finish your plate with a little bit of crispy milk skin <laughs> that we also mix with the crab. We are in uh, Mosul and we are from Maximum Cream House of 2021 uh, Herrenberg Cabinet. So it's a uh, more intensive freshness and fruitiness, and also, of course, uh, like acidity because of the reason. A very easy going uh, white wine. So now we will continue for you with our serving of our unforced duck liver. So we made here a snow for you from the duck liver. And already in this in your plate you will find some raw oysters. What we mix together with some jalapeno cream. So we are giving some spiciness to the serving and also some good pineapple and apple. Then here you will find the same oyster with the vervin and the kefir and foam on it. So just recommend it to, to take the shell and drink it out in the อาหารไทยกินเกี่ยวเดี๋ยวนะเกี่ยวคือน้ำพริกกุ้งเขาเลยนะตัวเองมันนี่คืออะไรบ้างนะดักลีเวอร์แก้วหมูไหมสรุป
Mm. The sorbet that we cook together with some passion fruit juice just to make it a little bit more sour and fresh. Mm. And on the top you can find some Thai basilic seeds as well. After the sorbet with the main course we will do for you red wine from Spain and the Ribera Sacra is very close to Galicia. A fuga, so it's uh, 2020 vintage, uh, but it's a very, very light uh, red wine, so uh, less tannin inside. Don't have a body, but like more fruitiness. It's only in steel, so steel. And now we have the first white pick for you. And the small cups, uh, in the bottom you will find some feet and walnut mixed together in small spaces. Around we have a foam or cream that we made um, or infused a little bit with thyme, the herbs. And in the middle you can find a stew bowl actually that we made out from a bit. Enjoy! Kamo, hello! Kamo, hello, how are you? I'm going to eat a little bit of water, but I'm going to eat a little bit of Thai food again. Oh, we just arrived in the main course. And the focus we have the pork is just for this way. And the pork is coming from near to Luton, from a beer farm. It's a pork neck actually. And uh, on the plate you can also find a small preparation of green apple and a sweet and sour walnut. The reason why we have these on the table because at the farm there is a lot of tree that is a walnut and apple tree. So the pigs are all the time eating these ingredients. Actually. We also have some pork juice on your plate and a side dish which is our homemade ham with some lard or fat in the middle. This is very good. It's very good. We're making espresso martini actually. Um, espresso, of espresso band, um, we created with uh, a roastery here in the neighborhood. And, um, the leftovers of the coffee or the espresso machine, like the um, I used coffee powder, we make uh, ferment it like two weeks. So we get here a little bit of fruit and acidity in the cocktail, homemade coffee syrup. And here a rum and vodka already. Here we have our dessert. It's a variation of topinambu with a balsamic sphere in the middle, which is liquid on the inside, and a little ravioli made out of nashi pear and hazelnut. A team pair of hazelnut. I mean, I'm by the way,